guys, Dr. Josh Chigota here, and I recently just got a question on how to restore meniscus mobility or knee health after you've suffered some sort of meniscus tear or some sort of, I guess you could say, internal derangement of that knee. And so a lot of times what, when we're flexing, extending the knee, what will happen is we'll hear pops or clicks, and then at the end what will happen is that you will notice with weight bearing, if you're standing up, you won't be able to fully extend that knee so it won't really lock up so what we'll do is we'll go into this kind of like protected always hyperflex state we'll start maybe getting some hip pain because we're starting to lift our hips a little bit higher because the knee can't do its work so I found a way to restore some of that mobility and what we're gonna do is grab your strap here and what you're gonna do is if you have carpet on the floor I would definitely recommend having a sock on or some sort of uh, maybe even cardboard on the floor to help you glide and slide. So what we'll do is we'll take our knee here, the affected side, we'll wrap it around and then what we'll do is we'll lock it in. So what we're going to do is wrap straight around, we're going to lock it over, so crisscross it just like this, over and then wrap it around the back. So now you'll have this kind of like a lot of control over that leg. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to grab the bottom of the strap here low because the more you grab the lower you grab the more control you'll have with that knee because remember when we do this mobility we want to be controlling it with our arm not with our leg because the leg is already affected so this is more of a passive mobilization that you could do at home so the first thing you're going to do is slowly lock keeping your heel on the floor what you'll do is you'll keep your heel on the floor grab as low as you can comfortably and slowly slide this up and then as you can see I'm grabbing both using both to really tug it in and I'm really doing a little bit of passive hyperflexion here so we're gonna flex and then after I'm, I'm done flexing I'm gonna hold it with some sustained pressure going up and then I'm gonna slowly slide it down letting it go all the way as far as it'll lock out comfortably and then I will grab again and do it again good what we want to do is avoid doing this because that'll end up injuring the meniscus a little bit more so try to make sure that you really come up nice and even again from this side I'm going to show you just like this first again we'll lock it around wrap it around the ankle cross it around in the back here lock it in grab low here extend the leg all the way if you want you can keep this bent and you'll come all the way up if you need that extra push because you want to get more range of motion pull it up and you can see how close my heel is to my butt here but if I was suffering some sort of meniscus pain and I felt it start to lock up actively, it may start locking up around here. So what we're going to do is take the active range of motion out and we're going to passively pull with our arms just like that. And we're going to hold that, lock it into place, let it relax, let go of the band and slowly heel slide all the way down. Again, you may be hesitant to lock this down into the ground, but if you can, you can do that. And if you can't do that, maybe practicing a little over pressure just like this to help mobilize the knee to get its active flexion and extension back. So this is a great mobility, mobility drill to help improve your knee pain, especially if you're suffering from a meniscus tear or maybe having some sort of issue locking out that knee. So you're really practicing passive flexion, passive extension a little bit more so. All right guys, try to give this approximately 10 repetitions three times throughout the day and that'll help restore mobility. And if you guys wanna see anything else in the future, definitely leave a comment below and we'll see you next week. Thanks again, we'll see, bye.